My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and in today's Everyday Office video, we're going to go a little bit deeper with the VLOOKUP function. And I'm going to begin nesting VLOOKUP together with other functions. Today's function is VLOOKUP nested together with the MATCH function. So if you watch Everyday Office number 20, you know that when I use a VLOOKUP function, specifically here in cell B5, I don't like this spot in the function where I have to specifically detail which column of information I'd like to retrieve. Um, because, you know, having to sit down and count out how many columns it is to get to the agent column seems a little bit clunky. And it also seems like if the data changes, if uh, things sort of fluctuate over time, that updating this number seven that says the lead agent column is column number seven, it's going to be a little bit tedious to go through and update all of my different lookups. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to illustrate how using the match function in replacement of the number seven can make this more flexible. So notice here that in the next cell over, cell C5, I want to find the sale price for this particular property. So again, the property here is RAMG7428, and I want to go all the way across until I see the sale price column, which is column L over on the end, and I'd like it to retrieve this $2.6 million for me. And normally I'd have to sit down and count this out and say sale price is in column 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, in the 12th column. Instead of that, I'm going to use the match function. And so here's how this works. Anytime that we want to embed functions, what we're really saying is at some point in a normal function where we'd put in a value, instead we're going to put in a function to calculate that. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did previously. Go to the Formulas tab at the top of the screen. Go to Lookup and Reference drop-down menu and choose VLOOKUP. And so I'm cruising along with my VLOOKUP function. Which is my lookup value? My lookup value is in cell A5, RAMG7428. And my table where this data is, is starting in cell A7, all the way across to the right, and all the way down to the bottom. A7 through L930. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to a completed VLOOKUP function, and it's here where it asks for column index number where we stop, and we say, okay, instead of typing the number 12 in here, in order for this to be flexible, in order for it to just find the information I want, there's got to be a function for that. And it's true, the function you're looking for is a function called M-A-T-C-H, match. So what we do when we nest the match function into the VLOOKUP function is we type in the word match and we put in the open parentheses. Now at this point, if you knew how to use the match function, you could just continue to type out the rest of the properties for this. But I don't necessarily know off the top of my head all the different parts of the match function. So here's how we use nested functions that we don't know 100%. You just take your mouse, come up here to the top of the screen, and click on the word match. As you can see, that changes the function arguments dialog box here to be about the match function. So now I can say, okay, well, what I'm looking for here is I want to know where the sale price column is. So this first field, this lookup value field, this should be set to the thing I'm looking for. I'm looking for sale price, which I've typed into cell C4. Now, let's be careful about this. What you type in the cell C4 has got to actually match what you're looking for, right? So in my previous example, where I had the word agent in cell B4, this wouldn't have worked because I was looking for lead agent. But I happen to have gotten this identical. Sale price here is identical to sale price over there on my sheet. Okay, now the next part, this is kind of interesting. It asks the question, where are all the values that could hold sale price? 
And this is where if you want it to be flexible, you say, okay, I'm going to start from cell A7 and I'm going to go all the way across this entire row here, all the way across. And you can include more cells if you want to, but I'm going to say from L A7 to L7, these are the cells that could possibly have sale price in them. And I happen to see that sale price is in one of them, but now sale price could be anywhere it needs to be and it would still be able to find it. Now the last part here is the match type. The match type uh, that I like to use uh, most of the time is going to be zero because this means exact match instead of close match without going over or close match without going under. So zero means exact match. Now to finish this process off, now that the match function has been completed, we take our mouse, click on the word VLOOKUP up here at the top of the screen, and you can see that it actually gives me the number 12, right? So the match for cell C4 in A7 through L7 is 12, which is actually the column number. Perfect. All we have to do is finish this off by putting in range lookup of false, and it will find me that $2.6 million. Click OK, and there it is. $2,620,144.80. And in fact, if we look at REMG 7428, we can see $2.6 million, same value. Now here's where it gets a little bit interesting. Now, earlier in the last episode, I used the drop-down menu here and I switched to, let's say, REMG 5869. It tells me that's $1.966 million. REMG 5869, $1.966 million. That's exactly right. This is where it gets interesting though. What happens when I tell it I don't want to find the sale price anymore? Now I want to find what the region was. I just type the word region into cell C4 and think this through. There is a match function that says, go to all those column headers and find me a value that matches with this. So when I type in region, it says yes, it's in the Eastern region. And if I type in appraised value, it says, oh, uh, $2 million. Or if I type in property type, it says well, the property type is residential. So you can see here that by embedding this match function into the VLOOKUP function, it makes VLOOKUP more flexible, capable of finding whichever value you think is important from item to item throughout the spreadsheet.